Fanta, I did go to book club tonight. I just come home from book club and I had to make myself an old fashioned. I had to sit down here, make myself an old fashioned, and think about what I'm doing with regard to book club. And now your uncle is home, and let's see what he's going to say about that because he thinks I'm still at book club. He turned down the sports TV without even saying hello to Aunt Feminina. I think that's real rude. You live with a heterosexual men. This is what happens. They come home and they turn on the TV. They don't say hello to you. I will. He, he gave me a chocolate bar yesterday. He just gave me a chocolate bar from 7-Eleven for no reason. No reason. He just gave me a chocolate bar with almonds, milk, chocolate. So I was happy about that. Oh, it's not. It's okay. Never mind what I said. It's Obama. He's watching Obama. He's got to watch Obama. He is a big boy crush on Obama. I just don't know my future with book club here. I really don't. I can't disparage my book club hosts for tonight. They love the Da Vinci Code. They like that book. They like Oprah selections. They serve wine. We had a lovely Chardonnay. They have his and her saints. They were a lovely couple. Let's just call them Jen and Eric. People invite you into their home Santa and you, you have to show them respect because that's what that's what you do when you're a hostess and when you're an attendee. When you accept someone's hospitality, you are very respectful. But that does not mean that you want to discuss Dean Coons or that million little pieces of cake decorations man that was discredited by Oprah because he lied to America's housewives who loved him when he was a criminal drug addict. But not when he was a femur, as it turned out. I love to read and I love book club, but I just can't read any more Dean Koontz. With Dean Koontz, a, a metaphor is, is uh, a hammer is a hammer that hammers you in the face on your birthday or your wedding anniversary or the anniversary of the day that your father was killed by a hammer. I can't take that anymore. I don't want any more Chardonnay. I just want to read about more interesting things. I don't want women are from Venus and Mars and planets because I just, I, I read these books. Men are from Mars and women are from Saturn and etc. And I just think, I, I don't understand y'all, you, all of you. Y'all are from another, y'all from Pluto. It's not even a planet. That's how I feel because I just, I don't, I don't identify with it. I don't identify with them. At all. The his or the her sink, I don't identify with either of them. If I went in their bathroom and there was a his and her sink, I don't know which sink to use. I don't know which sink is which. I don't know what I'm going to do except go to a straight up crazy asylum and talk about books with those people there. And who knows? We're going to be finger painting. We're going to be, God knows what we're going to be doing. But I just, I got to find a book club. I got to make my own. I got to do something. I just want to find people who, who want to get together and read strange stories, amazing facts. This book was published by Reader's Digest. And I'm very surprised by that because I've read Reader's Digest and it's a lot of stories about they didn't line at the bakery and little kids who say things to people where they just don't mean any harm but it comes out and you think Ooh, well the kid knows more than I think that I should know maybe the kids have more knowledge than us adults who are in the army and who are driving trucks let me just excerpt a little bit from the index to give you a sense of what this book is like stigmata stings bee stings wasp stonehenge Stravinsky, Igor, Submarines Vilper II, Submarines Early, Submarines Glass, Submarines Nuclear, Suez Canal, Suicide. Animals that broke the law. They had to answer for their crimes in court. This is a whole explanation of animals that committed crimes and, and had to be brought to trial. Witches, witch doctors, witchcraft, wolverines, wonder hull. Wood, touching wood for luck when you say knock wood. Oh, good lord. Wolf, Virginia Wolf. Now that's scary. Now that is scary. They dressed this pig in human clothes and, and tied it to a wheel and publicly flogged it because it had done something. I don't know what they did. Sometimes the free Roman pigs in medieval France broke the law. Worms, earthworms, flower worms, glow worms, green maritime worms. Ferdinand von Zeppelin. Is it okay to dress them in human clothes and publicly flog pigs who have broke the law in medieval France? I would rather talk about that, Fanta, than go to Jen and Eric's soft loft conversion condo with his and hers sinks and talk about Dean Koontz. 
my God, zippers, zippers, zodiac, zombies. You see what I'm saying? 